A proposed project is causing a lot of controversy in the Hope section of Situate. It would rehab a dilapidated mill into a residential development. And tonight, we're hearing from opponents and the developer involved ahead of a public hearing this week. Hi, with News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us now live in studio with what they're saying tonight. Steve? Well, Mike, this dispute has gotten tense. After a meeting last month went long and the public was told they would have to wait to have their voice heard, they're gearing up for our chance tomorrow night. The developer says their project would save the historic mill. It's plain to see the Hope Mill is falling apart. On that building, it's collapsed. It's gone. After shutting down in 2006, the historic mill in Hope Village in Situate has slowly decayed. Paramount Development, a Boston-based group, has pitched a multi-million dollar plan to rebuild the mill into more than 190 apartments, 40% being tabbed for affordable housing. With a major meeting Thursday night in front of the town's planning board, some residents are mounting a defense. Why is it always the taxpayer who pays the bills, who is supposed to be the boss, has to accept something we don't want to accept? State Rep Bob Quattrochi, who represents this area, says the project would crush the village. What they're proposing here is basically going, looking to double the population of this little community of hope in one fell swoop. Rich DeRosas at Paramount Development told me Situate only has 1% affordable housing, so the building would not only save the mill, but allow Situate to get closer to the state mandate of having 10% of housing be affordable. A meeting at the high school Thursday night will allow the public to weigh in, something Quattrochi is eager to do. The community doesn't want it. The people, by and large, do not want it. The zoning has shut it down, so um, why, why should we have something forced on our throat? And that meeting starts at 7 p.m. tomorrow. Now, I also spoke with the chair of the planning board to get their take on the proposal so far. He said their sole role is to see if the project meets all regulations by law. I asked him for an on-camera interview, and he told me he had nothing to gain by doing that. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.